Here we are. This is game two in our little series of Scorpion Dishonor against Phoenix Ray Sensei. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put some of this stuff down. Looking for Swana Dojo. And Already him. he has a sort of better gold start, though he's chosen to disregard it slightly. But hey, sometimes life works out. Indeed it does. So here's this. I'll go get an Abundant. And I'm going to hold everything but the guy. And pass on up to you. Yeah, last game was a little funky. I got the bad, like the baddish gold, but I ended up taking a province on his three. So I'm gonna trigger samurai cast. That's gonna get me my progressive. So you're triggering it for the first or the second ability? You know, yeah. sometimes, man. Not just sometimes, often. Where are you? I mean, I know I play it. It starts with a P. Maybe I should stop looking in the O's. Maybe that's a thing. Okay. So, progressive. Are you progressive or traditionalist, Jesse? Of course I'm a, I'm a good progressive. I read the Daily Coast. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually, I'm an active poster on the Democratic Underground. I support Obamacare. Yeah, I'm a good progressive. Okay. And we're going to get some gold. i got to think on this personality. I like her quite a bit. <coughs> but she is not a holding that causes honor loss. And she herself does not cause honor loss. But, I mean, I've got this interaction here, which allows me to do some cycling things. And I will flush her, but I'm not happy about it. I'm sorry to hear that. Right. I will exercise discipline, but you know how much, you know how much I hate being disciplined. That's right. Okay, so we didn't flip another one gold cost holding, say la vie. Uh, but I Everything did not guy. come up mill house, it came up only mill. <laughs> There's no house. It was thrill house. Go ahead. Okay, and this is one of those awkward early Oracle of the Void games. Now, he gets on you fast, but he doesn't get on you that fast. Um, though Arakai with Burning Spirits tends to get a little outside the realm of normal but uh, I think that the importance of being able to use it for fate cards or dynasty side cards I think it's a pretty easy pull here my other option is guy gold and guy doesn't really do anything for me right away yep so it's it's pretty straightforward grab the oracle Grab. And once again, exercise your discipline. We flush really good, solid cards because they are not really cascading or exquisite soul boxes. Yep, and with Oracle, he's pretty much guaranteed to see his brilliant cascades now, so the clock is running. So we got 3, 6, 9, 10, and 2. We're gold short of living the dream here. There's a lot of thrill, there's a lot of mill, not a lot of house here today. 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, you shouldn't have sold your, you should not have sold your soul for those elf pogs every time every comes time back to bite you. Uh, every time. Back in pog <clears throat> form. He's back in pog form. So we're certainly getting the guys here. Um, three, six, nine, ten. We need to get on the board and start pressuring him. So Ana Dojo is awesome, but too bad. I'll trigger that on my farmlands. That'll come up at the start of my next turn. Three, six, seven. I owe you a card, thanks to your subtly powerful stronghold. <laughs> it's going to back be... in twenty festivals. It's gonna come back in time. Word of air. And go ahead. And cards and cards. Hey, it's some cards that I was, you know, I was bummed to flusher, and now they're back. So I get to use my oracle on provinces. Sure. I'm going to pay three to attach a strength to Tenkawa. So much, so much wheel spinning you get to do. I get to then pass. I will then draw a card. Uh, I guess I should have named Strength of the Fifth Ring then. That was pretty stupid. My, my subtly powerful box uh, fails me again. Put your card back, man. I named Strength of the Fifth Ring. Screw you. Whatever. I That's guess. right. Pass. Ah, got one. I identified a play and made it. Belatedly, but whatever. Okay, so I buy my Bamboo Harvester. It's a good card. I flip it. This is like... This is whatever the opposite of a Millhouse is. <laughs> I don't have any idea what that would be. 
<laughs> it's like, okay, um, guy who causes honor loss versus guy. I mean, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take her first. We need to mark our honor now. I am at two. Your nine. I get one more. But I could have just flushed first. Do I do that? Just flush first. Who am I definitely not buying? I don't even know. I'm definitely not buying Kachiko this game. I don't have the gold, and she's not actually any good here because of your burning spirit, force generation. Okay. And that changed zero. I buy this guy. I buy this thing. And the guy who causes honor loss is almost. No, he's not. Get out of here. He's almost. No, he is out of here. Okay, so this is a bit awkward. I don't have the cards that I would like to have. This is a very defensive draw. If he was playing crab or something, I'd be really happy to see these cards in this combination. Um, but I'm looking to get aggressive. So I'm just going to draw a card. That's as, that's as aggressive as I can manage. Now, there might be a reason to not attach this spell and draw a free card, but whatever it is, I choose to ignore it. Sure. I will... Sadly, not an error spell, because, you know, my life is not... I don't get to live that particular dream. You think it would be? It deals with honor. Usually those are error spells, right? Look into the soul. It has a very void feel to it. Yeah. And it's karmic. I don't know. It feels a little flavor. Oh, it is. It's an air interrupt. It's totally an air spell. I just didn't oh. see it way down there. Oh, boy, look at that. Aren't you glad I... they put them down there now instead of up on the top? It's much better. I, Three, six, I take it back. I totally get to live the dream. Three. So I have exactly 13 gold. I can buy all this stuff. 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is what we're doing. I don't have force to take a province. And so we're buying 2, the 0, 4, my guys. Guy. I name, uh, I actually, this is important, I have to name Inspire Jojimbo, because otherwise it's plus five force, and that would be really bad for me. Indeed. So I buy my stuff. Adding zero more force to the board. That's it. So, uh, so we're coming out slow, but so is he, which is, uh, you know, we sort of, in theory, have the inevitability with our honor loss holdings, if we ever manage to get one into play. So far, so not at all. Like a fire This is this is a little upsetting. So activate Oracle, name Dynasty. Oh, I see. Uh, I pass. I have two gold. I don't. I attach a burning spirit. Sure. I attach secrets on the wind and draw a card because the amount of self control I have is less than one. Noted. Genma gets the spirit, that's more correct. Here. More correct. I pass. Straight my guy Do we straightened. I pass. Okay, so we're back to sort of choosing who to dishonor. I have to worry a little bit about having to discard here. It's sort of super not exciting. I can discard the 3PH guy and trigger an honor loss. <coughs> um, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, we're going to trigger. Well, let's dishonor Isoa Tenkawa, the scholar. Okay. I will use his ability. Oh, wow. Well. Targets one of your cards. He didn't come up in the last game. He's really good. Well, I dishonored somebody, so I got that going for me. So yeah, it looks like we'll just have to drop a card from our hand because I don't want to do anything else. To Dynasty I go, I buy a Geisha house and flip. That's cheap, and I need gold, and I want to see what my next card is. So lots of reasons. Hey, it's a holding that causes honor loss. Oh, I had an exquisite. I would try to exquisite you guy, but it gets negated. That's mm -hmm. like a thing. 
Buy another exquisite. Okay. And eight buys me one personality, almost certainly the one that legitimately causes honor loss. And everybody else off the bus. I'm a little worried that I've now like discarded all the personalities in my deck, but what can you do? They say that be. So I flip some stuff. Helpfully, it's all stuff with force. So maybe one of these days I'll actually attack and take a province. But we're gonna start with drawing a card because usually that's good enough, right? I will. Well, there's a dance. Do I need to target? He's got a Tenkawa unbowed. So I guess I want to get in my point of honor loss. So let's get that started. Okay, go to 11. I'm going to use my box here with Genma. Those are all cards. They all have text. So, nothing. Action to you. Straight, my guy. Okay. I will... Attach. Do I want to attach anything here? It's a 14. I have. This is 10, 13, 16. So I've got enough gold for everything, plus a little extra next turn. Yeah. Okay, uh, I guess I just pass. I name uh, inspired. Devotion. I straighten my guy. I guess I forgot to do that. Sure. Philosopher. I activate my philosopher. <laughs> and then, assuming you pass, one, two, three, I named Inspire Devotion. Uh, sure. I might have another action. I'm okay. I'm counting. You named Inspire Devotion. I straighten my guy, and then it's your action. So you've got two, four, five, four. You don't have hidden machinations down, so I can safely pass here. I'm going to attach a Fire Kami's Greed here it's just to avoid the discard. Sure. Put it on the five I, in theory, you could use it to trigger Arakai as well. Yep, yep. Uh, if there's an opposed something to target, but I can pass again. Okay, three, six, so I'll pass as well. Uh. And this is 10 gold to buy both Tarukos and two. I do have a look into the soul for your proclaim. I had that last turn, too. Did I foolishly let you proclaim when I should not have? It's not. So you only reduced me oh, by you one didn't. here, dude. So yeah. I, I got a three. So you can dock it on with one. I gained one here as well. Um. You didn't buy a guy last time. I know, I put it down because I really wanted to draw the card at the time. 3-6. Okay. There's no way for me to efficiently... Is there a way for me to efficiently use it? I have... 2-4-8. Yes, yeah, so I can straighten one of these and bow these two. That gives me an extra gold on the off turn. Okay, this is starting to become comical. It only in my dynasty phase. No, the next two cards in your provinces refill face up. Okay, he's got a Tenkawa. Um, I think I name that off the start to make sure I get as much honor loss as I can. So I go ahead and use my stronghold and name Isawa Tenkawa the Scholar. Sure, I'll put a strength of fifth ring down on Taruko. I will. Dishonored uh, Shiba Arakai. Sure. I'll draw a card. Straight, my guy. Back to you. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass. He says confidently. Oracle of the Void on provinces. Sure. 
I guess I can just throw these off. I pass. Jigger, dark audience, refill face up. Flip. Mm, what do I want? Probably. I could stick with secrets looking to the void. I could go walking the way. Let's go with walking the way and a look into the void. I just marked an otter there. I forgot to mark that for my proclaim last turn. You're one, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So you have walk, look, and you have walk. Uh, hold on. So, like, look prevents... Oh, I might not have another look. Is it an L? There it is. Walk is basically mercantile conflict, which is going to be worth, like, two points versus a look. Oh, four points. So you definitely can have look. Okay. Look into the hand. Attach my look. Bow my guy to draw a card. I could wait to do that because I have so many cards, but you know. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm going to... Have you used your straight in this turn? Yes. Okay. I'm going to Priestly Feud for you, go. One of my 5G guys. Okay. I mean, I've got her built-in bow effect, uh, but I got a ton of cards in hand. I think I'm going to go ahead and bow her to a... <sighs> Just cause an honor loss. Okay, so Priestly Feud. So, I mean, I just struck... Uh, I'm going to just bow to play Mercantile Conflict, get a couple of cards out of my hand. I, I'm sort of eventually losing a point, but uh, I, I don't want to discard a ton of cards. So I'm Mercantile. Sure, I pass. I uh, two consecutive. Four. Yeah, two consecutive. So it's, and I think we're going to go ahead and play a Way of the Scorpion on 3 PA. So you're going to lose a total of 3. I hit 10 Cower there. And I get to see 2 cards. So I'm going to final sack that over to the 2 PH guy. Sure. Save me a point. Sure. And you can see some cards. Random card. Sailor's Warning. Here's a Sailor's Warning. And random card. Nope, that's still Sailor's Warning. Try again. <laughs> final Ruin. Okay, you see Sailor's oh. Ruin and Final Ruin. So, now we drop down. We gotta prioritize how we buy our guys. We'll start with... Shizuka, who sort of kind of causes an honor loss. And this is the only other face-up I get. Hey, Brilliant Cascade in. Woohoo. So six buys guy who causes honor loss and brilliant cascade, and then I got enough to buy the guy and the gold, but I have to decide if I want to use that gold in my off turn to trigger some effects. I think I will keep it up because it provides some flexibility. By Yogo Chaijin and Flush. And we are both somehow almost out of Dynasty deck. Well, certainly I am. Maybe Flush and Hard. Okay, so he has now officially started to play L5R. So, <clears throat> I gotta get in the game here. How do I do that, you ask? By drawing a card. Sure. Open to you. Yeah, I've got to I've got to start agonizing a little bit. Um, he's he's the way his deck works is that now that he's got so much force, you know, I have to start worrying about sort of how he's going to split up and take multiple provinces and that sort of thing. Uh, I have to be a little careful to not overcommit myself bowing. Uh On the other hand, I want to make sure I maximize usage. He's such a he's at such a high honor total. I mean, I just came online so slowly this game. It's a shame okay. I wasn't able to take advantage of that, but 
c'est la vie. So I can do this and that. So this, so. Well, okay, so let's start with the easy stuff. Let's get Shizuka out of the way. Shizuka on Shiba, you, uh, you have a guy with strength of... Sh Shizuka, a girl with strength of the fifth ring. Okay. Uh, unbowed. Sure, sure, but, sure. Uh, so I have to decide if I like that or not. Um, I'll push that over to one of the Dishonored guys. I'm just trying to save points here and there with these. So they can go yep. on the bowed Tenkawa, how about... Uh, well, it's gotta go to the Yojimbo, right? It's gotta oh, go to right, Erika. Sure, sure. Just goes to Erika. Yep. And then I will draw another card. Hmm. I have to think. I think I'm trying to keep Force down, so I'm probably gonna use my box on Shiba Yoichi. There's an argument to be made for. Hitting his Teroko now, who's bowed, because he won't be able to... No, he can always straighten on my turn, strength and fish, and Hashimoto. Trying to keep him off fate cards is a sucker's bet, so I'm not really... I'm not really on that. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna play Mercantile Conflict from the Yard. Yep, I play Mercantile Conflict from the Yard, bowing Shizuka. Okay, I will activate my Tenkawa. Yeah, that's a thing I forget about sometimes. So what can we do to target him to eat in action? Is there any stupid thing we can do that doesn't involve bowing us? Or did I just screw up really badly? Looks like I just screwed up really badly. I will straighten my guy. I will straighten my guy. So how important are getting those points of honor loss going to be? Three, six. I think they're pretty important, actually. So, have I used my box? I haven't actually named it yet, have I? My plan is to name you Weechi, no, but I, I thought you named you Weechi. You were talking about I'm, doing okay. It. I I don't think I have yet, but perhaps I have. Um. Yeah, I think I gotta prioritize. I think I gotta prioritize the honor loss. I'm just so far behind. So, so I try really hard to play an imperial summons on Shiba Arakai. Okay. So swing and a miss. I will then use my box. I found a burning spirit. I'll dump a sailor's warning. Use Fuku targeting dishonored guy. Use two. Straight and get Use growing rift targeting your two dishonored guys, making you lose a total of three. Okay. I'm going to attach said burning spirit to, I guess, Genma. Uh, is that stupid? I'll put it on one of the Tarukos, I guess. I pass. So. Ever get lucky, he'll get greedy here. 
that's sort of what we're hoping for. We're not out of it. I mean, we just did like 10 points of honor loss in a cycle turn. Um, but we're a little, we're still a little anemic, right? We've only sort of got four points in our dynasty side plus the personalities is six. Um, he's not able to claim upwards, but we're, we're a little off pace. So I played a game of dice here. Um, we're, it's, the, it's the most agonizing experience with the Dishonored deck where you sort of sit here and forced to sit here and see if your opponent sort of plays around you properly or not. Okay, so all three of these guys... I guess I'll send all four. We'll go at a province. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe if I don't say anything, he splits here. It doesn't break down the way I want it to. Uh, it's... But I'm still, I mean, I'm still 20 points off of losing the game. You only have one cascade in play. Like, I yep, feel yep. like I got time. No, no. You, and so you do. And I, I offer no defense. Um, he doesn't have an immediate shoot-me effect. So, I mean, there's a there's an argument to be stayed to stay and play a couple of actions. But it's just not even, I got just not worth it. That's what I, I got four provinces. I let it go. Okay. Hooray, hooray. The guy who was signed makes you lose. No. He was already dishonored. I had a progressive, but it's just none of it's none of it's enough. Okay, so I need. I'm getting the two sh these two guys for sure. Three, seven, ten. Uh, for this one and this one, he reduces my proclaim to nothing. I do. And then two stop. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. So I can afford this guy too, and I get a little pud. So we've got some stuff we're gonna be able to do during our turn. The question is, can we get twenty points of honor lost in a single turn? That doesn't seem very likely. Guy who makes you lose two. It's just all so gumble gumble. Okay, well, let's attach my heart of Fudo. Sure. <sighs> I will... I will pass. Play game. Straighten my guys. Fine, whatever. Sure. I play game of dice. Okay. Straighten my other guy. I have now successfully jumped through the hoops necessary to draw a card off my bamboo harvesters. Just trying to get deeper. Perfectly fine card. I pass. Whoa. I wanted to discard not my personality, but the card attached to him as I am now using it. So I'm gonna heart. Yeah, yeah, you got that. It's a mercantile, which I will play. Your ten kawas are all bowed, right? I didn't miss anything. No, no, you didn't. So I get mercantile, play mercantile, trigger oh, my. Okay, so. Yeah, so you play mercantile. So you get and show me mercantile. And I should agonize. I don't. About... I don't have to show it. I'm show just it, telling. Right? Sure, sure, sure. But you, you pass. Play mercantile, I play. Yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to cash in my creating order on a Tenkawa here. Uh, who is honorable, so I can go ahead and use Shizuka and target that Tenkawa. Oh, did I goof? I can just straighten the dishonorable one. Can you still just name oh. him with your box? I do, I do that then, yes. I just name him with my box. Yeah, yeah, so this whole line is a waste of time. I take it all back. Let's just plow, plow, plow forward. Head down, plow. Oh, okay, so I play my mercantile. I use my two exquisites and my brilliant. Sure, sure. So there's six, seven. No, there's. Oh, it's only three, six. Six. Only six. Don't. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. I do get to then straighten my guy. You are the man. And. 
I'm closer than you think. I uh, mean, I'm I'm far. Sure. I told you, told you you're the man now, dog. Like, uh, it's just sort of like what? I'm gonna county house for a card. I mean, I got a pretty stacked hand. I'm drawing cards. I'm cycling things out. All right. I'm continuing on with my cycling things out. Here's my ring of the void. So I'm at six cards. I'm now gonna. I'm now at the have to discard stage of the game. Uh, but I'll invest, so that'll be nice. So let's break this down gold wise. I can buy that six guy with invest, but then I cannot buy my brilliant cascade, which is going to be pretty important. Uh, Shizuka is okay, so I think I'll go. So yeah, it's gonna be JPI trigger by Shizuka, and then not have to two honor loss now versus two honor loss later. So you got a virtual neg seven when I finally decide to cash in my Fiocos. I've got one way can get you to neg ten. Which is like not even closer to there. Well, so if I do that, so let's uh, so. I'm just trying to see if there's a, a magical setup that gets me there somehow. And there is not. So let's go ahead and cash in my Oracle for Fate Card. I love you so much, Oracle. Don't ever leave me, baby. I wish you were complaining about an early Oracle. <laughs> I've never had this problem. And this is an excellent card that may completely change the complexion of how I pursue my turn because it might let me get you... No, it doesn't. Stop being, stop being a crazy person, Paul. Okay, and I bide my JPI and trigger to get my last brilliant tool. My second brilliant, actually. It's just one of those things that happens when you play Dishonor. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep the guy there. He represents an honor loss effect for next turn. I don't think it matters much at all. But uh, you know, I finally, on one of the last turns of the game, and I draw some cards, and I'm going to have to discard some cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cards. Ugh. Ah, ah, ah. It's these relocating the courts. They're just the most tricky to play. Okay. Oh, I maybe done a secrets on your turn. That was I was just left with an unbound Kataka. That was so I secrets somebody, uh, a samurai of your choice. Whatever. Okay, so my first is draw card. So this guy's Bob. So. There you go. So we use a Shizuka on a, the bowed personality there. Okay. Uh, you got two of those now. Okay. So my next will be to use my box. Nice. So I can get this War of Air, which I will then immediately discard. Go ahead and use my other Shizuka on the other Bat Clan Shugenja. This one I will push off onto Dishonored Arakai. Sure. And then, Karmic, my long-term fruition. Mm, 
We got to decide if we want to keep these guys for defensive purposes or get the points in. <sighs> Two, four, six. I don't know if I actually have a choice. I don't. I don't have a choice at all. The choice you do not have is a false choice. I have a false choice. Okay. I will target uh, dishonored Erikai to make you lose one. Lose one. I'm gonna. I don't want to do this. So using my. One of my Erika's here. I'm going to priestly feud your Shizuka. I mean, I strike. I'm perfectly fine with priestly feuds. These cards bother me not at all. Okay. I use my other Fioko to cause a point of honor hit, which now opens up at least our original plan of defense. So I'm going to Priestly Feud targeting the other Shizuka from the same guy. Sure, so they both have to assign against him, is that correct? Mm, yeah. Then, action to you. I straighten my Kayataku. Who has not one, not two, but three uh, spells attached. Uh, uh, uh. Straighten my guy here. I'm doing some math really quick. Neg 7 plus 11 is 8. Okay, I pass. Attach a final ruin to somebody. How about one of these guys? Sure. And then I'm going to swing. Okay. So this one of himself. Who forces the defense of these two? Looks like this question mark. This is three, six, seven, eight. Who did I name with my stronghold? Have I done so yet? You have not. I oh. assume you name Yuji. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's signed like this. Okay, uh, she'll defend the middle against what appears to be an Erikai, a Tiroko, and a Takawa. Yep, yep. And the other two Shizukas will defend the Erikai that they are forced to defend. Sure. So let's do the battle with the Shigenja first. Okay. Uh... I pass engage. Me, I guess I'll engage up my spell. Okay. I will play my oppression. Okay. So there's two. I'm at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm, that would be correct. Eleven, yes. And I say two, eleven, two or eleven. Correct. So I'm presently bouncing. That's correct. Yes. Okay. So to burn a burning spirit. Yep. It's a bonus of three. To fourteen. Okay, pass. Pass. Let's do the other opposed battle next. Pass engage. Me too. Uh, I send you home with the favor. I go home. Last battle. You are zero force. Yep, so I attempt to Yuchi up. Fails, I do it again. Then I have a fire devotion to make ten. You have a five chi guy somewhere? Yeah, you two. Do? Both ten cow. I will tactical setback the guy who received the force bonus. Okie dokie. 
Uh, I have another one. Uh, okay. I lose. And then drop down. Four. Uh, hold on. What is the dude's force? His total force? Assuming I put it all on one guy. Did you put it all on one guy? No, I spread the two devotions. Okay, then we definitely need to back up. Okay. Where? So here's the idiots. So one is eight force and one is five force. Excellent. I will progressive the eight force. Well, I guess I can just progressive the five. There's a planned departure. And a tactical setback. Okay, so he goes home. I play my third and final inspired devotion. Okay, and I lose my province. I thought you had it, but I wanted to get it out of your hand. So seven gets this doofus. And also, I wanted to get the cards out of my hand for my bamboo harvesters. It's so sad that this is such an important part of what I'm doing. Buy all the stuff. Put in a token on this. Later. Okay, so the goal now is to get him under while keeping as many of our personalities alive for defense and drawing a lot of cards. We can do all of these things. Oh. So we begin at the begin. Do I have a terrain in here? Do I have it encircled? I even have it encircled. So I can grab it encircled. That might be relevant. How shall we begin? Let's start with some card draw effects. Uh, except he has a Tenkawa unbowed. Do I have to worry about that? I have two Tenkawas unbowed. That's true. True story. No, I don't think so. I think we can just make a bunch of nonsense effects. So, Okay, I will draw a card. Okay. I will straighten my spell. And they both negate the next one, so if he uses them both before I target him, yeah, yeah. they both get negated twice. So it's it's pretty easy. He's only actually going to end up with one, because even if he, if he tries to stutter him, I can box it. I counting house. To see I straighten my Shigenja. So I'm thinking mercantile conflict is probably the... I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. I don't really need my gold for other things. Uh, yeah, well, so make you lose two. Okay. Because I'll make you dance a little bit, trigger the Tenkawa. Yep. Uh, use Shizuka targeting a guy. Shizuka. Have it negated. Draw card. Use Shizuka on Unbound Tenkawa. Sure. I Bleh. so to decide if these guys. I gotta count uh, two, three, four. He's got a mercantile conflict in the bin. Does he have a way the scorpion? Yes. So it's definitely got me under this turn. This is. Worth two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, yeah. So I just draw my card. You can't stop me. What's that? Hundred percent correct, by the way. So neck fourteen, that puts you two. So I don't even know if I need to do like anything else. Uh.
So, brilliant cascade to get you the next 16. Sure. Pass. Oracle, draw me a fake card. We're just trying to, you know, leverage our resources to full value. Pass. 367. Yep, so I won't, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and just play a mercantile from my hand. Okay. Exquisite, exquisite. Someone there. Straight, my dude. Dishonor. So both Arakai's are dishonored, is that correct? That is correct. Let's go ahead and dishonor a. Sh uh, are both Yuichi. Are any Yuichi's dishonored? No. So I'll probably just Shizuka the Yuichi's. Let's go ahead and dishonor 2PH Samurai who made a dude. Yeah. Blow up Explore Dojo to get encircled terrain. Okay. Into my hand. And three, six, seven. I could buy this JPI, but I do not wish to do so. I could favor cycle something. Is there a guy that I don't need on my turn? Maybe. Oh, it's got to be a courtier. No. So I flush. Draw my fake card, and the table is yours. Hey, okay. Okay. I do need to uh, to ensure because if he you know kills my guy with my look into the souls somehow and because, so I will play from my yard the way of the scorpion plus it's going to give me some information. Uh, targeting a three ph guy. Sure, sure. Random card, Word of air. And, and random card, sailor's warning. So sailor's warning is coming onto the table pretty quickly here, but I mean you know. So, no help, but whatever. Then I'm gonna draw another card with my guy. Uh, Shizuka, a Shiba Yoichi. Sure, sure. Use my box. Shizuka, other Shiba Yoichi. Pick this one. Red do. If I had to strike the fifth ring, I'll discard a Sailor's Warning. And then attach my fifth ring to the other Taruko. Okay. Which I will cast. I'm straightening my guy in there as well. I still have my box. For sure. You've played three Final Sacrifices and three Inspired Devotions. Yep. Uh, Super so... Mario is Fire. It's your answer. I will stronghold and name Shibo Yuichi. Sure, sure. Give Super Mario a plus one force spell. I will play Growing Rift and say the two Shiba Arakes may not assign together. Sure. You Straight. lose two all. Straighten my dude. I'm at nag a million, whatever. Straighten my dude. I hate that you don't think this matters. It totally matters to me. Action to you. Ah, uh, that's it for me. I'm done. Straight I'm fast through the phase. Straight my dude, straight my dude, straight my dude. I have a Jade Ascension for... I have a Genma. Genma can hang out over here. Uh, and then I've got a Final Ruin. For one of the five G guys. All right, then I gotta just see who's attacking, who's not. 
this one, this one, this one. This one can't go. This one certainly can, though. How do I want them to? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, how am I playing around it? He has... He's played one oppression, no strategic withdrawals. We'll see how it goes. Kind of a weird board state. Okay, well. Uh, yep, this is my assignment. Okie dokie. All my guys defend. Okay. You got first. I have no engages. Okay, well, I don't want this one to get completely slaughtered because if it somehow got stuck here, bad things would happen. So, uh, you, you didn't take any engages. Uh, so, I oppression. Okay. Mag even more. <laughs> Rubbins, baby! Uh, final ruin to blow up a Shizuka. Do they destroy it? Then you have, let's see, I'll assume I will have no force, but how many, you have no Jade Ascension, so you have one more Final Ruin. I have one more Final Ruin, I have one Jade Ascension on Guy with... And Arakai has gotten bigger now. Yeah, I sure. will... Ramifications, Arakai. That sends him home? It does. Okay, he is home. And you lose even more honor. Negative a billion plus one. Final sag, or Final Ruin, other Suzuka. Duly popped in the face. Uh, I mean, I don't have to play it now, but I do. I play my encircled terrain just to get it out there. Sure, sure. It's the card we're putting all our eggs in. Um, I'll cast fire commies to reduce your few go to zero. Okay. Uh. I'm just looking. He's got. Do you have a sailor's warning out in play anywhere? No, you do not. I'm trying to play it. That's pretty silly. <laughs> I pass. Pass. I will. Copy you down your guy to zero. Pass some more. I have all zeros. Province strength 11. Yep. Yuichi for plus five force. It's negated by my box. Yep. Pass. Oh. Okay, hold on, then I goofed. Then I have to yep. Yuichi melee two, one of your guys. Okay. That's important. I still pass. Other Yuichi plus five force. Send them home with the favor. Sure. Creating order to straighten other Yuichi. There we go. Pass. Five. No, I'm still one force off. So, you know. I got closer that time, but... Uh, so you got five plus... Two plus, plus six is two. Uh, That's yeah. the math. I could... I was going to stop you at seven with a progressive if you don't have an answer to send home me stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple different things. Like, I could have held some of the uh, final sex for, like, a battle situation, like a final battle like that, but I think... Yeah. This game, I saved six points. Specifically, saved six points of honor with those. And so if I hadn't played, yeah. them, I played them. Um, it's it's hard to get into the butterfly effect of what if I turn the top side clockwise? Yeah, yeah, and go. yeah I hear you. So I'm just saying, like I'm just thinking, looking back. 
Uh, you started really I, slow, but I came up really slow too. So I think like a regular military deck would have gotten you really good this game. Um, yeah, well, weakness. what I was going to say with the final fact is that they, they were a huge impediment to me. It's like every time you played one, I wanted to just be like, oh boy. The the only thing is like if I had if I had been able to draw a Koan's Whispers, I would have been able to get there this game. 100% for sure. Um, and you saw a ton of your fake deck. Uh, then my other thought is generally encircled to not a problem. It's very unusual to end up in a situation where it's like I can't get one big unit. Yeah, well, you know, like the uh, deck. So only have a ring, right? Don't you normally get earth or water? Yeah, I'm not playing them in this build. I should be. Oh, okay. Well, so but, I um, play earth. And yeah, I should be playing one of the two. The, I mean, like like you said, the draws. So the de the weakness of this deck. The race essay deck is that it does have draws. Yeah, stuff together. That's why it's lower yeah. in the bracket. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and there might be a way to tune it up a little bit more, but maybe not. It's a Voltron deck, and this time it just sort of didn't work. I drew two. I only drew a single Ascension, but two Burning Spirits. In the first game, I had triple Burning, triple Ascension in my opening draw. So you just see these different uh, different hands the game can produce. Okay, so Scorpion Dishonor progresses. We're gonna see more from that, and my poor, my poor baby here uh, gets, gets uh, kicked around a bit, a little bit more. Uh, maybe we'll do a, a loser bracket side or something. I don't know. Yeah, maybe just so I can play more Ray Sensei. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let us know what you think about the idea about the brackets. What you think will go the farthest? Uh, this has certainly been enough talk. It's not one but two games. That's right. Almost three. I've got I did my best. I did my best. So close. All right, Nobody guys. can be. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Take care.